Welcome back to Windows 10 Administration. This is Section 4, Maintenance of Windows 10. This first video is on disk cleanup. In this video we will cover basic disk cleanup settings, cleanup system files, and more options. To get to disk cleanup, press the Windows key and type disk cleanup, and select the drive you wish to clean up. Or, from Windows Explorer, right-click on the drive you wish to clean up, click Properties, and click the Disk Cleanup button on the General tab. In the Files to Delete section, you can select the files that can be deleted and click the OK button, or view the files first. Each item in the Files to Delete section has a description. For example, the DirectX Shader Cache is to clean up files created by the graphics system, which can speed up application load time and improve responsiveness. They will be regenerated as needed. Let's go ahead and clean up as much as we can on this system. Click OK, and then click Delete. The Disk Cleanup Utility will clean up all the unnecessary files on your machine. In addition to files that you can clean up, Windows has a lot of files that get left over from system upgrades and crashes. You can clean these up in the Clean Up System Files button. Click this button and you can see all the files available for cleanup from the system. Again, for each item, there's a description. For example, Windows Defender Antivirus is non-critical files used by Windows Defender Antivirus. Let's go ahead and clean up as much as we can here. And you can see on this fairly clean machine, there's 1.6 gigabytes of data that can be gained by cleaning this up. Click the OK button and delete the files. Windows will then clean up all the unnecessary files on your machine. And that's it. Now, go back to Disk Cleanup, select the drive, go back to Clean Up System Files, and you'll see that on System Files there's a More Options tab that doesn't appear in the normal Disk Cleanup. Here you can free up more disk space by removing programs you do not use. We will cover removing programs in the next video. Also, you can free up more disk space by removing System Restore and Shadow Copies. We'll talk about System Restore in a future video as well.